So I'm down here in Calador, in the centre of Calador. We're going to have a look at what Calador Centre is like tonight. It's gone 10.30. A lot of people have already eaten, but is it still busy? Well, let's go and find out. I'm just coming up past the Indian Fusion restaurant. We're heading on right into the centre here. And we're going to find a really good atmosphere. Barlola. I was recommended this bar here for its live music. As you can see, we have live music playing here this evening. the Lotus this evening. Let's keep on heading up past through the other bars and restaurants. You can see all the kids are out here too. You can see how family friendly the center of Calador is. This is a brilliant spot for a family holiday. And right at the end of Avenida Belgica, you will find a great night market in Calador, which takes place every Sunday evening during the summer months. seen on my channel you'll know that many of the markets run during the day around the island particularly up in say Alcudia or Campigafor but the best time I think to visit a night market is of course in the evening when it's a lot cooler to walk around now this market over here in Calador is just wonderful got some lovely locally made handicrafts and products here you have your mandatory uh, portrait painter too which is just fantastic you can pick up some great souvenirs down here. Thoroughly recommend a visit. And right at the very end of the market here, it brings you out to what smells like an amazing Italian restaurant here. So I just pan the camera around, but we're gonna head on back into the center of Calador and see where else is looking lively tonight. Now there are other night markets around Calador. The main one is over in Cala Agos as well. They do have a wonderful night market on a Thursday night, I do believe. If you're looking at going to any of the other markets, then check out the Santan Yi market, which, which does operate on a Wednesday and a Saturday, and you can get the TIB bus over there. If you want to get a really, really local experience, and also go and check out a beautiful old town here in the south east of Mallorca. Now we can hear the music is starting up again. We can see that we're starting to head back into the centre of Calador. So let's go and check out the rest of the nightlife over here. Oh my goodness me, check out those smoking cocktails over here I can see absolutely amazing if you want a cocktail down here in Calador go and check those out now we're coming back into the center here you see our friend here playing outside of Lola's now I'm right on the corner here we're gonna find some really nice little pubs here we're gonna find some great entertainment also got some other restaurants here worth checking out. I can see some paella being served on the corner. Let's go and have a quick look down here at Dugan's Pub. Let's go and see what the atmosphere is like. And we have some more live music over at Dugan's Irish Pub as well. Let's go and check this out. Fantastic. The 
this looks like another amazing place to come if you're down here in Calador at night. Let's keep going along. Let's see what else is along here. Look, you can see some pubs here with pool tables as well. A little bit quieter down here. A little bit of dancing, a little bit of dancing going on in this pub here. And I'm outside Herman's, Herman's Bar. We've got the London pub along here too. And also, what have we got at the end? Let's go and quickly check it out. That's a bit quieter up at this end of town. See the little restaurant here. Very nice atmosphere. But let's head on right way back into the centre of Calador. Let's see what else is going on this evening. So nightclubs don't tend to really get busy until around 1 a.m. If you come up any earlier then I don't think you're going to find anyone inside so you're going to find a lot of young people descending upon the clubs. If you want any entertainment before going to the clubs make sure you go to these many bars along here. the different bar down here they've got a restaurant concept too there is also an upstairs bar as well you can see by the sign here if you just have a quick look up upstairs you can see got some guests at the top let's turn around and keep going now we're coming up towards many more restaurants down here in Calador, check this out, look. So if I look to my left here, look, we've got plenty more bars. If I look to my right, we have plenty more bars and restaurants. Should we have a quick look down the street here too? Let's go and have a quick look. We're heading on back down to the main road here, which will take you down towards Calagran, but we're just gonna see, see what's open down here, if there's any, anything that's still open. And we are actually approaching 10.30 down here in Calador. Centre. Now the restaurants are starting to empty out a little bit. If you do want to see exactly how busy it was earlier on in the evening at dinner time, then do check out that live stream that I made from down here in Calador. I will link to it at the end of this video. Now we are within Paces Walk of the Hotel Calador. We're in Paces Walk of Calagran as well. And check out these bars that we have on this main road here. This is the, the Atlantis. We're right outside of Jimmy's here too. Another iconic restaurant down here in Calador. What a fantastic atmosphere this evening. We've got a guitarist playing over here in the Fernando Cafe. Now, if I keep walking this way, that will take you down towards Calagran. But we're going to go up one of the main shopping streets here, which is Tago Mago. I wonder if some of the shops are still open. I'm guessing they are. I'm going to check out any other further bars on the, on the way. Let's go and have a quick look. Now you can see that just about most places are still open down here. It's absolutely incredible. It's still a hype of activity after 10.30. And you can still go shopping as well, which is absolutely fantastic.
Now my goodness me, I didn't expect to see this this evening. I'm coming up by the taxi rank here in the centre of Calador. Look how long it is. Now this is worth knowing actually. It's worth maybe checking out the bus timetable down here to see if you can find a better way back to your hotel. As you know, Calador is very, very spread out. So walking back to your hotel might not always be the best choice. Now, we have seen things to be very, very busy down here last summer with regards to taxis. It's looking like it's very busy here again this summer too. Now, that was a slightly unexpected end to this uh, nighttime video from over here in Calador to see such a long uh, taxi queue in peak season. Now, in previous years, of course, we've seen very, very long taxi queues. I wasn't expecting to see it this summer because I did think there would be more availability of taxis going on into the summer. It maybe isn't the case over here in Calador. Now, there is no secret source here to getting a taxi. Maybe if you forward think you can maybe pre-book a taxi if you know you need to get back to your resort, but don't forget too that you can also walk back as far as Cala Ferreira as well very very easy easily from the center of Calador and you just need to check out the live stream that I made down here to show the route to how to very quickly get through to the center of Calador okay everyone thank you very much for watching you can find the live stream that I made down here appearing on YouTube just here don't forget you can find me in the Facebook group and on my Instagram also called Mallorca under the sun find out more information and book tours and trips on on MallorcaUnderTheSun.com too. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Goodbye for now.